And Rolly too Lofty and Wendy Join the crew Bob and the gang Have so much fun Working together They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Pilchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together Like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we Morning, everyone. Morning. Hello, Wendy. Oh, morning, Wendy. It's time to go. <laughs> oh, wow, it's morning. Woohoo! What are we doing today? Well, we haven't got any jobs on, so I thought it'd be nice to go on a picnic. Wow. A picnic? Great idea. Can we come too? Of course you can, Dizzy. Now, let's just do a quick tidy up first. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Hello, Bob's building yard. Wendy speaking. Wendy? Uh, oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, Mr Ellis here uh, uh, from the museum. Uh, hello, Mr Ellis. Uh, what's the matter? I, I, well, uh, I've had a bit of an accident. Oh, dear. I'm afraid the picnic will have to wait. We need to do an urgent job at the museum. Oh. Oh, well, not to worry. Maybe if we get the work done quickly, we can go on the picnic later. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm not waiting for anything. I'm ready. OK, we're going to need plaster and some copper piping and electric cable. Dizzy, we'll need you to mix the plaster. Yippee! And Scoop, Muck, can you carry the piping and cable? Yes! No prob, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Bob, uh, hurry, hurry, in here. Uh, the Bronze Age exhibition's supposed to be opening tomorrow, but it's a disaster. Don't worry, Mr Ellis. We can fix it. I was trying to hang this shield on the wall here. And, and you put the nail right through the hot water pipe. Yes, afraid so. And then the lights went out. The water must have short-circuited the electricity supply. And it got all over the floor too. <laughs> Whee! And as for the plaster on the walls, well, look. Don't worry, Mr Ellis. We'll sort it all out. Oh, thank you, Bob. I've got your mail, Mr Ellis. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What happened here? Mr Ellis had a bit of an accident. <laughs> he banged a nail through a water pipe but and... But we'll soon put it right. I've got your post too, Bob. Might as well give it to you while I'm here. Oops! What? Oh! Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Oh, that's OK, Mr Ellis. No harm done. Oh, dear. Better get this dried off. Oh. Oh, Mr. Ellis. Hmm. Oh, no! What's the matter, Bob? Bad news? Dear nephew, we'll be down your way next Tuesday. Make sure the kettle's on at half past four for a nice cup of tea. Much love, Aunt Dora! Oh, and Tuesday? That's today! It does say Dora, doesn't it? Uh, D-O-R ah, and then a splodge. It got wet on the floor. But it does look like Dora, yes. Oh, dear. Aunt Dora. She likes everything to be really tidy. And the yard, well... Tell you what, Bob. I'll sort the job out here. You go back and tidy up the yard. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Oh, no. It's going to take ages. What's up, Bob? Oh, it's just Aunt Dora's coming to visit, and if I don't get this place tidied up by half past four, she's going to tell me off. Tell you off? Oh, no. We'd better get moving. <sighs> better start with the workshop. To get this. Uh, oh, 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 get off it. Oh, hell. Oh, bother. I'll never get this place sorted out by half past four. I'll tell you what, Bob. We'll tidy the yard. You go and get ready as that, Oh, 
Thanks, Rolly. I'd better go and get my best suit back from the dry cleaners. Oh, there. That's the pipe fixed. We can switch the water back on again now. I wonder how Bob's getting on at the yard. Hmm. Me too. We've got to hurry. Aunt Dora will be here soon. Lofty, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh dear! Oh no! There's plaster everywhere! Is anything the matter? We're tied in the yard up for Bob. Only we're just making things worse. Oh, well, don't worry. It's just a bit of a mess. We'll soon have it cleared up. You mean? You'll help us? Of course I will. Rock and roll! <laughs> I'm a little earlier than I thought. I've got plenty of time to help you, and there's nothing I like better than a nice tidy up. Now then. Must be Aunt Dora. Oh, no. Right, I've just about got time to get changed into this and put the kettle on. There, good as new. Thank you so much for all your work. Now we'll be able to open tomorrow as planned. Oh, you're welcome, Mr Ellis. Come on, Dizzy. We've finished here. OK, we're day. Dear me, I quite forgot my letters. Uh, Wendy, this is addressed to Bo... Oh. Oh, well, I'll just have to take it there myself. Four o'clock. She'll be here in half an hour. Let's hope the gang have got everything tidied. Wow! Oh, brilliant! Well done, team! The place looks wonderful! Well, we did have a bit of help from Aunt Dora! She's really nice! Aunt Dora? You mean she's here? Oh! Um, does anyone know where the teapot's kept? But that doesn't sound like Aunt Dora. Oh, hello, dear. I hope you don't mind, but after all that tidying up, I needed a cup of tea. It isn't. I, I mean, well, you aren't. You're not Aunt Dora. Wow! You've been busy, Bob. Hello. You must be Bob's Aunt Dora. No, dear. My name's not Dora. Bob, I seem to have picked up your post by mistake. I... Auntie Doris? What are you doing here? Oh, Jeremy, you are a forgetful boy. I sent you a letter telling you I was coming. I suppose it slipped your mind. No, I... that is... A letter? Uh-oh. I think I might know where it is. It's not this one, is it? Yes, but how did you get it? It must have got mixed up at the museum. Sorry. Just a minute. If that letter was from Aunt Doris, then my Aunt Dora won't be coming. Phew! I'm afraid I haven't got any shopping in, Auntie. I'd have bought some fondant fancies if I'd known you were coming. Oh, don't worry, Jeremy. I've just thought. We were going to go on a picnic today, and seeing as we finished all the work at the museum, there's still time for us to go. I've got loads of food in the hamper. Why don't you and, um, Jeremy come with us? Yes! It's the least we can do after all the tidying up you've done. Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it, Jeremy? My word, yes. Great! Oh, we're going on a picnic! Going on a picnic! Going on a picnic! Yeah, 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 going on a picnic